Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a simple macro to automate simple tasks. So first of all, I'm going to go to the Developer tab. Now, if you haven't got the Developer tab on your Microsoft Word, if you right-click on any other tab and go into Customize the Ribbon, you will be able to tick the Developer tab on. It sits in this list without the tick usually. Once that's on, you've got the macro details on the left-hand side. You can also get macros um, from the View tab, but when you put the Developer tab on, you get a few more features. So what you do is you click on Record Macro, and then it will record whatever you are doing on the screen. So I'm just going to do a little uh, signature block. I'll just call this Steve1. Now, you've got the option there to put it as a button, so it'll go at the top there, or you can have it as a keyboard command, and you've got it going into the normal document, so it's going to be available for every Word document they open. I'm going to click on the button option first off. So what that will do is we'll open Word options, and it's gone to the quick access toolbar, which is this thing across the top, and that's the macro that's going to be called Steve1. Now, if I add that across, it just sits at the end there, and you can modify this list or this with one of these symbols. So I'll go with a smiley face, click OK to that. So that's what's going to sit on the quick access toolbar. And then I click OK, and then it is recording. See that little record symbol? Whatever I do. So I'm going to just type a signature block, Steve Maxton. manager and then put the telephone number there one two three four twos press enter on that and then I'm going to stop the macro so click on stop and then a little smiley face at the top there every time I click that it's going to do the signature block so if I get rid of this for a second just click on the signature block it's just going to drop that in so that's a very quick way of doing it. Now, if I just do another one for print. So if I record a macro that's going to say print. So for every day, I'm perhaps I'm, I have to do two copies of the same document and print them off. So let's record a macro. In fact, before I do that, let's just type some text on here. So let's say I've got to print this off. I'm going to record a macro. I'll call it Steve2. I do want that to be a button as well. So there's Steve 2, add it across, uh, modify that with a different symbol. Um, pick one of these, quite hard to choose, this pink one. OK to that, OK again. Now it's recording what I'm going to do. So I'm going File, Print, selecting two copies. So I've done two, two copies. Picking the printer that I want to do it to, but this time I'm going to send it to um, PDF. I'll click on that and then print and then it's asking me to save this document in documents I'll just call it test one two and then okay that and then that will have saved that there and then stop recording and that's that job done so if I just type intro again that's this is auto text I'm doing there and click that little pink button it's asking me to save it again, so I'll call it test one three. And each time I do that, it is saving a copy. I'll do it again, intro, click it again, and then this time I won't save it, but just scroll down so you can see that it's actually been saved. One two one three. So every time you click that button, it's printing a PDF out into documents. That's what that one does, and every time you click this one, it's doing your signature block like that at the bottom, or whatever you want it to do. Now, if you make a mistake during the macro, you can delete the macro or redo it. You don't have to keep it. It's totally up to you. So if I want to delete this one, I'll just go to Macros and list all the macros. I'll scroll down to Steve1. If you click on Edit, you can actually see the code for that macro which is on this screen. I'll just close that off. Come back into this. 
let's say I don't want it so scroll down to it click on Steve 1 delete yes and I'll get rid of this um, Steve delete that as well and then test I'll delete that one okay so that's you clearing off those macros so you don't clutter up your machine but that's just a little quick video of how to create a macro to carry out routine automated tasks so hopefully it was of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one